Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to be reviewing this microphone. And guys, let's jump in. Let's see what we've got in the box. Quite explanatory. You can use this microphone on a smartphone rig, as we can see there in the phonograph, and that also on your DSLR. It has a cardioid pattern. It's very light. Obviously contains the shock mount, and uh, it has an interference circuit as well, which uh, which I found with some of the um, cheaper microphones they didn't have that I'm glad they've integrated that into this one we'll do a test on that a little bit later so let's unbox and see what we've got right we have our set of instructions there authorized dealer right, put that to one side Notice to avoid interference, please make sure Wi Fi or your phone is set to off and the best condition is flight mode. That's interesting. I would always recommend you do this anyway, um, whichever microphone you're using, because the uh, interference on most mics can be picked up with a mobile phone. I did try a the Boya MM1 which unfortunately picked up quite a lot of interference guarantee there then we have our instructions which uh, as you'll see are pretty self-explanatory really you can mount it any way you like this is what comes in the kit we have the mic body itself shock mount uh, mic windshield and the uh, wind muff and the two sets of uh, the two different cables I don't know if you can remember the other microphone I did right, let's put that to one side we had a switch on the other one you could switch it over so let's open it up uh, got a nice logo there Comica Pro Audio Mic what have we got in the box right First of all, we have our um, we have our cable. We have our TRS cable there, which is uh, for our camera. The other one there is the TRRS TRS standard TRS connector that end, which goes into our microphone. Yeah, there we have our, um, our windshield, which. Uh, goes over the top like so with a piece of elastic like that we have our mic windshield which you can see there uh, we have the microphone itself which is there and we have some silica gel we have our mount that's the microphone one side that's the box empty right let's assemble and uh, have a look right we can uh, click our microphone into here like so hopefully not breaking it this time like I did with one of the others I had <laughs> as we're doing it indoors we can uh, we can just stand put the standard one on there take your cable for what it's intended to be used upon and then uh, plug it in like so right overall impression the construction is extremely solid it's all um it's all made out of aluminium it looks like we've got um tripod mount there as well as a hot shoe so you could maybe maybe put this onto the end of a boom pole or something like that if you so wish nice nice mesh there to keep all the dirt and muck out 
it's not an exceptionally expensive or price tag but um, it's not the budget either they do some of these little microphones do range from around 20 pounds upwards I believe this one was around 47 the good thing I liked about this one was it came with both windshields uh, you have to see the internal and for the outside as well the shock mount uh, feels very robust it does have adequate shock or so that it so it seems like I say we'll uh, we'll try this on the camera outdoors that's just a quick overview of what it's like in the box right let's take it outside we'll uh, put it on the camera and uh, we'll see what it's like as you can see this was pretty useless uh, to be fair this was pretty extreme um, I don't think there's many microphones at all that would have coped with this amount of wind um, you probably would have had to put a microphone in a blimp or something like that to be able to get a good audio from this amount of uh, weather I've come somewhere a little bit more sheltered uh, there's still a little bit of a breeze here it's not as bad as it was on the coast um, so there's another test of the uh, microphone I realized much later more so when I was editing the video that I hadn't turned the gain down on the preamps in the camera the gain level was set quite high as this microphone is very sensitive um, I have tested it with some similar ones I've found that if you put the gain right the way down to the minimum you get a better result but as we can see from the wind test um, I think this probably didn't help but I still think you may have had a small amount of wind even so well I'm still on the coast which is over there but, um, this is just a comparison with the uh, lapel microphone uh, this does have a windshield on it of sorts but, uh, it's only one of the um, one of the little cheap ones from China uh, there's a comparison and this is in the wind with the uh, w little wind muff on the lapel microphone in conclusion I quite liked this little microphone what I did like about it was it the fact that it was so small and extremely lightweight I like the extra windshield that came with it as well and I also like the fact that it had two cables for dual use for phone and camera what I didn't like I found maybe that it was a little bit too oversensitive but on the other hand that it can be a good thing and if you have some good pre outs on your camera then you can adjust them a little bit better uh, or even if you're using it on a sound recorder or something like that but uh, overall I'm very happy with it um, if you want to get yourself one of these there's a uh, link in the description down below thanks for watching guys please subscribe and click the bell icon if you want regular updates head over to my website over there you'll see stay updated on every video put your email address in there and submit and you'll get a regular update to every video I upload thanks for watching guys hope you have a great rest of the day please like and subscribe and share the video and I will see you in the next vid